He's putting up a fight. Yes. I can't seem to get him. Very poisonous plant. Very bad. Set up, you see, and then the idea is this is my ratchet. That's better. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. This year, Zach Fowler invited me on his second season of his 30 day survival challenge. For 30 days, we'll have to live off of plants and whatever we can catch and cook. So we are at day 12 of the challenge. We've seen a lot of things, done a lot of things. It's been pretty adventurous so far. Um, but something I might have to tell Zach today, we'll see how it goes. I don't know if I can take these mosquitoes. I can put up with uh, hunger a bit. I can put up with hot, cold, a lot of various things that I can put up with in the outdoors, but when it comes to clouds and clouds of mosquitoes, it's one thing that I just can't tolerate. So far, all the other locations, there hasn't been any mosquitoes hardly, but up here, they just come out in clouds, and I don't know how much of that I can take. So whether this location is going to work for me, I don't know. I may have to discuss it with him. So one of, yeah, this clouds of mosquitoes around my camera, around me. This is not going to be good. I don't think I can do this. <clears throat> the other somewhat of a problem is we're not on a creek. We don't have much for water. Look at these mosquitoes in my eyes, everything. They're just brutal up here. I don't think I can do this. I can put up with the weather conditions, the rain, the heat, everything, but not these bloody things. Mosquitoes don't even seem the slightest bit bothered by a little bit of fire smoke either. Another day. Another day. Now we seem to be burning an ant log. Carpenter ants. We're all confused what to do. Yeah. Oh well. Breakfast. He bit my tongue. He did. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, eat me, I'm gonna eat you. How you like that? He did, he bit right on the end of my tongue. This is some of the Go Prepared Tinder. Uh, you can use it for patching. Go Prepared makes this. It's kind of a waxy thing you can patch with and this and that. I think I got another use for it though too. That's a pretty big flame. Just let it die down maybe a bit. <laughs> Will it die down? No, no, it just burns better. If I roll it really tight, I bet you it won't. That's better. I could hear that singeing off. I hate these nose hairs when they get long. They're irritating. Working on my spindle, or wow, my spool. So now you can see my spool. Now I have to drill a hole through here for my spindle, and then I have to cut notches. For my ratchet system and I think I only need about five or six 
because then it'll wind up quicker. Oh, that's what my notches are gonna look like. Got my hole right through. Now, I wanna drill a couple of holes through here so that my spool can sit in the middle. I was gonna use this setup, you see, and then the idea is this is my ratchet, okay? I have to find a different one of these. It's not, didn't go quite straight, so it's not working for me. You see how it goes like that? They won't line up because the stick isn't straight enough. And then of course, like, I mean, basically I'll turn it like this, but it's not, it's not complete yet. So I have to figure out a different one of these. I gotta find a, one that's gonna work with this setup really hard to find these little shrubs here like these willows they're not even straight makes it difficult I will tell that's a lot straighter now so that's not an issue it's not fitting through here properly side of this, that side, that side. I don't want to do anything on this side because it's already too thin. Thinner. It's thinner still. Without going so thin that it's not going to work. Or it'll break is what I mean. Another one? Oh, you're doing well. Anyways, I don't think I have time to quite finish this until a little bit later. To work on it a bit more later. <clears throat> we gotta get to the lake and see if there's any fish up there worth catching anyways. Go fishing. Gone fishing. Long ways to pack wood. There's just nothing near camp. Firewood is going to be a chore. A lot of calories. These mosquitoes haven't let up yet either. It's an all day thing. They're really getting to me. So these mosquitoes are getting so bad. It's just so frustrating. I'm going to take some false hellebore. Very poisonous plant. Very bad. I mean, that's if you eat it. And I'm going to Peel the inner stuff. And there's like, it's kind of like a aloe vera almost. I'm gonna try that on one arm. I mean, I don't know if it can absorb through your skin, but I'm gonna see what happens and see if it'll keep them bastards off of me. I'm just interested to see if like they'll avoid it. I'll just do one arm so I'll know if they're not landing on this arm, then maybe it works. I 
and then I'll just keep an eye on it. Anything that'll keep these things off. I'll even risk poisonous plants at this point. Now I'm curious to see. And hopefully I don't go into cardiac arrest or something because of the plant getting through my pores or something. Um, as far as I know, it's only poisonous if you ingest it, but some plants you shouldn't even be touching, really. We'll see if I have any side effects. I'm sure it wouldn't kill me, even. Oh. That was hot. There's the rain again. Oh, this weather, man. So we got a big thunderstorm and <clears throat> had to hide away for a while. Um, but anyways, as to the heli bore on my arm, it didn't seem to do anything. Uh, the rain just stopped about 10 minutes ago and within 30 seconds the mosquitoes are back. So this is the way it is up here. It's just, ooh, I tell you. One dead guy. Made it to the lake. So you can see the lake behind. Good fishing in here. I fished it before years ago. And I know the fishing's good. It doesn't look very deep, but there is deeper spots at the far end. And it doesn't seem to matter how deep it is. It's, uh, they're still in here. So hopefully we can catch something for dinner. I'm getting bites every time, but... Oh, see, I just about had a big one again. There's a nice one. See, as soon as I put a piece of worm on, I got it, got one right away. You found a worm? I found one, yeah. He's putting up a fight. That's I can't seem to get them. I'm having troubles here. No, I gotta play them out or I'm gonna lose my line. That's frustrating. Okay. Get that out of there. I'm just gonna have to play them out. He's too big. Got you that time. Got you that time. That's a big cutty. Boy, he wasn't hooked by very much either. Gave me a fight, that guy. That's about three pounder, at least. One more of those and be styling. If they're gonna bite like this, we'll be in good shape. Just have to only come up here every second day, maybe. At least I didn't lose my lure, man. I was worried about that. Got another, oh, we got off. Got another one.
number 29, number 30. Those are a bit bigger. I would say three pounders. Nice. Fish are too big to put on sticks. fish cooking. So I think we got it figured out. We found a spot halfway to the lake and halfway back to here. Well that would that would make sense halfway to the lake. <laughs> halfway to the lake and halfway back to here. Uh, that uh, we're gonna check out tomorrow and see if we can't move in. Just wow. If if they're all as I mean they look like they were all as big as the ones that Greg caught and some even bigger so I think we're going to be pretty styling. And it's just big ones up. Yeah. There is some big ones in there. Yeah. Yeah, so I had a few big ones following. I had it I had two big ones on, but they got off. Yeah. So I just wish I didn't lose that pink lure. We have to locate it. Yeah, yeah. It's got to be right near that log there somewhere in yeah. the grass or It probably caught on the branch and the branch broke. sprung back and it's Sprung it. It's maybe sprung it somewhere. Yeah, yeah, maybe we could find it on some other little branch hanging. Yeah, yeah I'd really like to find it, but it was getting too dark to look. Yeah, I didn't want to risk getting back here in the pitch black. Yeah, just used a couple of spruce branches there to make a green grill for the fish. Nothing too fancy. Over stew is looking delicious, but they are very stiff still. <laughs> so. They will soften Put them on up. the simmer again tonight. Yeah. Maybe. They'll be so soft and juicy by breakfast. Ouch. That's hot. There you go. Wow. We're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> bon appetit. Big piece of the skin. Mmm. Mm. Mhm. It's a big one. Giant chunks of flaky, juicy meat. Mm. Very good. The other fish won't be as good because it was spawning. Really? Mm -hmm. You don't think they're as good? No, I don't. When they start going that dark color. Because it's already spawned. Well. Yeah, or is. Huh. I've never noticed a difference. The meat will be a little softer and probably white meat instead of pink. Oh, I have had a couple like that, yeah, and they're not as good. So neither of them had eggs, though. No, they were both male. You didn't save the milk? Mm -mm. Not into that. Really? Why you? I like the milk, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all food. It eats. I'll keep it for you. It eats good. Well, never thought about it. Yeah, you put it in the soup and it boils right up to like a. Just a little protein snack. It has a um, almost a sprucey flavor. Or is that just my tongs? Do you taste it too? Um, no, I do a little bit. So it's day 13 now. I think the plan for the day is to start working on our shelters. We think we have a spot in mind not too far where there is a creek. But uh, I never... Never brought up the fact in the mosquitoes, they seem to have died off a bit, but uh, maybe it was just a hatch that was driving us insane. So I suppose we're just gonna grin and bear it and put up with the last half of the challenge in this area, just down over here. The fishing's good in that lake, so we know we should have a supply of fish, which is good. Anyways, get this fish cleaned up and get back and Put some coffee on. Oh, I like my morning coffee at least. Pretty big fish in that uh, lake though. There's some horsetail. I have to have some horsetail tea. That's what it looks like there. Scouring rush, horsetail. Good for cleaning stuff.
I forgot to bring the coffee pot to get water. I guess I'll just get it in the gold pan. That'll work. We're halfway through July. There's no sign of it being a dry July. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. But I'll tell you, this time last year, you couldn't see your hand in front of your face because of the fires from the, the smoke from the fires. Like you couldn't see across the streets, like the next house over, you know? Wow. It, and, and I was starting to get chest pains. You know, like just the constant exposure to all that smoke, eh? Do you guys wear respirators when it's like that? Well, some people were. <laughs> so, I've been working on the fishing rod. I want to have it finished so I can get to the lake today, try it out. Been having some issues with this big heavy reel. The wooden one. It was a good idea, I suppose, but um, it seems too bulky. It's not going to cast very good. I had this idea of putting it for casting, pulling the pin out, and then putting the spool here for casting, jamming it on for casting. But it's not spinning right. I think what I'm going to do is go back to my original idea that I had in Patagonia, even though I didn't actually make it while I was there. It was towards the end. And I'm just going to use the spool itself. You see? I'm just going to use the spool and cut notches in the spool instead. So, it's the same principle. It's going to be the same principle, but this will be lighter. So it's going to cast, I think it'll cast just properly, just leaving the spool. I just got to take the wedge out. I have to use a wedge here, because when I'm trying to cast, I pull the wedge out. And then I cast, then I put the wedge back for reeling in. This is just to show my homemade rod working. The whole idea is just, it's all built from wood material except for the spindle align. So, just want to catch something with it, that's all. I'm not going to go so far as to make dog bane fishing line and hooks out of wood. I'm not going that far. I mean, I suppose if you had to, you could, but... I'm not going to get that carried away. So we're going to go in here, try to look for a suitable spot to put our shelters up. It's not too far to the creek, but if we have building material, we'll see. It's thick in here. Oh, let go of me tree. This damn tree grabbing a hold of me. No. See some firewood. Looks like crocodile scales almost. Like the back of a crocodile. Alright. Okay, I'm in. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if we're going to get on it today or tomorrow. I'm getting on it right now, I think. Right now? It's going to start raining and yeah. we're halfway back. Alright. So we're going to get on it now, I guess. Well, this will be interesting platforms in the trees. I'm gonna make it so I can have a fire up there too. all day long and you might keep them at bay. Hopefully I'm killing some of them. Boom! One pole. One. And one tabletop. One. <laughs> yeah, or a oh, lean. And a, a, and lean a good lean. Post, a yeah. good leaning post. Okay, well, that's enough work for today. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be just kind of a montage of trees dropping and stuff, probably. There. Oh! That was close. 
That's how it goes. Okay. Great. Down a bit. Yep, about there. Yeah. That's good. That's one pole. Out of about 20. This is exciting stuff. Living in the trees. That's it, right there. So we got quite a bit accomplished on the uh, the outside frame to the platforms. I'm going to start filling it in tomorrow. I'm not sure if we'll be able to stay in them tomorrow, but uh, we're working on it. We worked most of the day. I've got my fishing rod basically done, so next time we go to the lake, I'd like to take it. Um, things are coming together. There's still a long way to go in the challenge, though. So keep tuned in. It's only day uh, 13. So we still have uh, 17 days. We just got to keep filming and keep getting things done. That's what we got to do. Just keep at her. Nope. Ouch. That's hot. A plate. <clears throat> oh. Well, it's basically been fish and gophers. rain <clears throat> it's kind of good it hasn't been too hot for us but I think with all this rain that's why the mosquitoes are so bad so well how'd you make out pretty good I got a lot of hand stuff done I even made like a debris hut for putting our uh, tools in so we oh. got a tool shed oh good <laughs> I'm eating gopher because I was hungry. Go for it, gopher. <laughs> I'm, I'm hungry too. How is yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah? It's good, yeah. And there's some coffee there. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'd probably be going to bed early. So. Phew, hot from the walk. Yeah. It's a ways in there, actually. It is quite a ways in there. We're in the middle of nowhere now. I can't wait till we get all our stuff out there so we don't have to be walking that walk. The lake will be closer than mm -hmm. the lake. The lake's pretty close from there, not so much from here, but yeehaw. Yeah. For fishing, yeah. Boy, my cup's gotten dirty. Not a bad day. Clean nope. 
cleaned up the ground some more, lashed everything that I could lash, made that debris hut and put sticks in there so all our stuff is off the bottom and the debris hut should carry if there's a heavy rainstorm, you know, stuff, water will get on our stuff, but it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah.